in love with yourself. Number two, read. Number three, um, make notes what you see in the world. Your eyes, your ears, and this should be closed until it's asked to open the mouth. <laughs> Number four, when you meet smart asses, don't freak out. Actually ask them what, what, how did they get there? How did they become smart asses? I'm not encouraging you to be a smart ass. I'm, I'm encouraging you to be a humble, modest, agile, open-minded law student. And these all will come into being when you graduate. And at the end of the day, all these things that you're going to find challenging is going to help you approach life as a lawyer at the end of the tunnel. It's going to be a long tunnel, short tunnel. You know, it's going to be a tunnel. This is a really hard road. You have to tell your friends, I can't come and hang out. You have to tell your family, I can't just go and sit and binge Netflix anymore. Your life will change. You will have kids. You may have partners. You may have sports. You now need to learn to actually compartmentalize your life. I've learned this a long, long time ago, so it wasn't a problem for me. I don't have a social life. <laughs> I did. Um, I don't believe that. I actually don't have a social life. Um, <laughs> I've got a very quiet life, even though I've seen very bubbly. Um, I had mentees who really struggled. So even though I had mentors, I also um, participated in a mentorship program. I had mentees from UQ, UTS and Macquarie. Um, they were law students in their 20s and they struggled because they had friends who are not in law school. They want to go hang out and they want to go picnic and, and then they forget about this. And I know this sounds boring. It doesn't mean that you can't do this, this friend, this social part, part of your life, but you now need to chunk out. I can come out and hang out for one hour. That's your reward. You have to be cruel to yourself. <laughs> it, it sounds bad, but you understand as you progress along um, your law career in your university, as you learn to compartmentalize social work and um, personal life, when you become a lawyer, you have to also learn to compartmentalize. When you want to become a commercial lawyer, that path will take you to, to the six minute billable time, knowing to chunk times. If you go into government department or courts, again, you chunk times into hearing, hearing times, 10 minutes. So what you learn now, rewarding yourself, I'll study for an hour and I'll go hang out for an hour. I'll study for an hour, go hang out for an hour. It's like bench pressing, you know? <laughs> if you start now, midway of your program, uh, you don't even know it, that you're actually juggling, rewarding yourself well. So I'll tell you how I start my day. I work full time, um, I teach and I fly and I study. Um, so I get up at six, have my coffee, Mourn about life for about 40 minutes and then I go run for about half an hour. So get the juices running, come back, yep. I triage work for two hours, study for one hour. I rest for half an hour, I triage work for two hours, I study for one hour. It sounds horrible, but I reward myself. Running was my, my self-care. Um, having quiet time was my self-care. Dancing was my self-care. So you need to go the 30, 30, 30, 10, principle or however you do it but the reward must not be bigger than the study <laughs>